brought some rains to the field and we might see some casual water this round. And great catch from Silva Saarinen. And Silva Saarinen is going over with her second shot. Oh, Look yeah. at this! Silva Saarin and her third, and it stays in bounds. She's pin high. What an execution there from Saarinen. She's going over the out of bounds, but this is turning right. Does it fade? It does. And just enough to get a straddle, but right, right next to the bush. She would be throwing over the bushes. She's and really good at the putting tree. Yeah, that's a great putt from Silva Saarinen. And Silva Saarinen, three mistakes in a row. She gets a kick. Is she in bounds? Oh my, yeah. It, it seems like that's that's on the on the good side of the OB line. Saarinen approaching with her third. Just a bit hot. Saarinen once again converting with the putt. We still have seven holes to go. We'll see. Saarinen. That is actually something that I missed from the preview. We have the mandatory there for the FPO to see how the trees line up on the fairway, although this fair where we don't have any trees. But that is something you can do. And then when you arrive back to your disc, Silva Saarinen almost challenging the basket there with her second. Given this statement about this teeing area, Silva Saarinen is throwing her tee shot. Could you remind us, Pasi, about the rule? Yeah, so we saw Saarinen checking how slick the, the end, end part of the actual tee pad is. Silva Saarinen about 11 meters. No hesitation needed. I mean, there can be a, right next to a school course, six holes for advanced players or then for the pro players. And when it goes to the pro... Starting for the birdie. And that's in, look at that. That's about, what is that, 16 meters? Yeah, that's ridiculous. I mean, the weather is obviously good, but <laughs> once, once she can putt without no trouble, like no out, outside trouble, she's, she's really good. And that's the fourth birdie in a row. Braga plus, plus 31 at this point. Saarinen going around the mandatory. Perfect position. I assume the type of the grass is kind of a thicker than what we are used to see in some other areas. Uh, so we don't see that much skips and rolls as we were probably predicting. Almost 100 meters long, par three. Really narrow, and you don't want any skips left. Saarinen is showing us how it's done. This is under the basket. Look at that. Seems like it's just like a normal putt for her. Look at that. Let's go to the FPO once again. Silva Saarinen on hole number six. This is looking great. Just a bit more crawling. I believe she's on the edge of the circle. Oh, solid up shot. And Silva getting the birdie. Playing to the tailwind. And that is exactly what she's been doing on this hole. Great shot, pin high. One 
Mistake more to the books of Jenny Karppinen on the final round of Andalusia Open 2023. How about Silva Saarinen? She's showing us the way. Karppinen near but not in as this one is from Silva Saarinen. Circle one's edge minus six for the tournament. That's something huge. She's already three down. She didn't get the bogey free round she wanted, but that's 11 strokes better than Jenny Karpinen. Great shot. It wasn't always this many strokes she had for the victory, but she has had those tournaments where she won with with 8 to 8 to 10 8 to 12 strokes and we are all kind of baffled of what she has been able to accomplish this season and that is it Silva Saarinen circle one's edge even on this hole number five and she's the five-time Euro Tour tournament champion taking home the Tour Championships in Andalusia 2023. Your 2023 BDGA Euro Tour Championship FBO winner, Silva Tarinen! What's up everybody, Brian Earhart here, and thank you for watching highlights of the Disc Golf Network coverage. For more highlights and pro disc golf content, make sure to subscribe to us on YouTube. And to watch live professional disc golf, make sure to subscribe to us on the Disc Golf Network.